thank you, Ariana, for nice introduction and nice transition. I will try to to be uh, presenting a, a short uh, overview of why for silicon photonics is uh, an enabling technology for for lighters. So just waiting for for the slides to come up. Okay. Okay. So. Um, so my, I'm Francois Simon. So I'm, I'm managing a, a program at Leti, uh, trying to uh, to figure out and, and to demonstrate uh, how silicon photonics applied can be applied to 3D sensing, and in particular uh, to lidars. Um, just to introduce my, my, for those of who don't know what is a lidar, lidar stands for light detection and ranging. It's a remote sensor. Uh, for 3D perception of the environment. Uh, the principle is uh, very similar to, to radars. You send a beam in the um, environmental uh, scene, and then you detect uh, a small quantity that has been reflected by the objects of the scene. And then you have to have a detector in that in combinations with electronics is able to measure the time between the emission and the, and the collection. And this time, we call it the time of flight is uh, proportional to the distance between the lidar and the object. So it's very similar to radars. Uh, and so similarly, first, first message is then similarly to, to radars, you won't have at the end a unique lidar that will satisfy all the applications. No Swiss knife for lidars. It will be, for example, segmented for automotive applications uh, with respect to the distance, and you will have Radars for short, medium, and long range, similarly to what you find if you look at the radar portfolio of the provider. Um, it's very similar to radars, but also um, there's a very big difference. And if the slide can arrive, um, is that uh, lidars uh, operate in the optical domains. It means that it is using uh, lasers uh, as the beam to deliver the beam uh, in uh, the range of uh, one micrometers wavelength. And uh, it's very different, different from radars that operate in the radio frequency uh, domain. So uh, intrinsically by the physics, lidars are providing this uh, 3D perception with a uh, unique resolutions, uh, unique resolutions and precision. And it can detect very small objects that can be very far. So that's why it's, really expected by many applications. Um, so historically, it's been developed in the 60s for spatial defense or science applications. And um, years by years, it's, it's be, 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 began, to, began to be uh, deployed for niche applications in the engineering, engineering domains. What we say is that if you want to reach a higher volume, uh, you have to make such a way that these layers uh, are half the cost and, and the size reduced. And if it is the case, you will uh, find a lot of applications for industry, for robotics, for mobile transportation, for autonomous cars, autonomous shutters, autonomous robotics, and even for consumers. So the years by years, we, we see uh, the first generation that was uh, proposed by the pioneering uh, companies like Velodyne uh, proposed the first uh, commercial lighters uh, based on a mechanical uh, beam steering. Um, you have now a large uh, opportunity, a large uh, offer in terms of lighters based on mechanical lighters. But what we see is that uh, the roadmap to reduce and to address this large, large volume is, is very difficult to handle with such mechanical uh, option. That's why uh, we see and uh, now coming out uh, more and more a second generation of lighters um, based on uh, solid state semiconductors technologies, where we see MEMS, micrometers, or flash shadows, uh, proposals that are now being tested for, for prototype. And since uh, silicon is the topic of today, uh, of course, what we see as the next generation is integrated optics with silicon photonics. And um, you have many, many people, more and more people that are really thinking that the future ladder will be based on silicon photonics. 
So if we consider uh, the general scheme architecture of, uh, of any LIDAR, it's made, it's made of three main blocks, the source, or mainly with the laser, the beam scanning system, where you have to emit and collect the uh, beam that has been uh, spread in the environment. And then the third block is uh, the detection block, where you have to make the photonic detection. So as you can see on, on this uh, very uh, common architecture, uh, all the red blocks uh, can be done with silicon photonics, with photonic integrated circuits. So you, you do uh, similarly to electrons with CMOS, you do with PIC with the photons. So this is uh, exactly uh, what we can do, and it has been largely presented during the first presentations of, of this webinar. Uh, you find again the laser source that has been presented by Bertrand. The beam scanning uh, can be done with different devices coming out from the photonics. The silicon uh, German and photo detectors have also been uh, presented as one of uh, the, the elements of the platforms and we have. And of course, also presented by present, uh, previous uh, presentations, previous talks, you, we have also uh, the, the tools to make heterogeneous integrations and 3D stacking of all these photonics chips with the electronic chip. So really, uh, silicon photonics is an enabler for future riders. And for example, uh, one exciting subject is uh, uh, with the optical phase array, you can imagine to have the beam steering on the two dimensions done without, uh, with no mechanical movement. So it's really the, 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 the promising uh, approach to make the 3D scanning with a robust LiDAR. So uh, as a conclusion, uh, as, a, as key takeaways, uh, if I look at uh, a graph comparing LiDARs and cameras, uh, I, we, we cannot uh, claim that LiDARs are going to replace uh, the other uh, sensors. On the contrary, they will be complementary and they will uh, help in having higher resolutions with long range. But still, uh, you have to uh, handle the, the main key factors that are the prices and the form factor. And um, if it can come, uh, we see that thanks to silicon photonics, uh, you can have uh, a LiDAR that uh, will be low cost and small uh, with the fact that you can do manufacture these LiDARs in a CMOS compatible manufacturers. You can embed very close to uh, the photonics functions, uh, really a lot of computing. So you, you lower uh, the data flow and you lower the consumption. And you can also have a reduced test cost, a test cost because you have, have automated uh, test of, of these devices. So really, uh, as, as a takeaway of this example of applications, uh, silicon photonics is really an enabling technology for future riders. And I think it's time for questions. So thank you for, for listening. Okay, thank you, Francois. Okay, so uh, I think it's time for me to, to conclude. This, is, uh, this was the very first uh, webinar of the partners of this uh, program on silicon photonics. I, I, I hope you have uh, enjoyed uh, uh, these presentations uh, with uh, the, the results on, on web guides, on laser source, and the, the information uh, on, on applications. I'd like to, to thank all the presenters. I'd like to thank you, uh, all the, the, the attendees. Just uh, I'd like to mention that the, this, 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 this video will be available uh, online uh, soon. Uh, and I thank uh, Jean-Pierre for his uh, thanks. Okay, and I, uh, I just to conclude to tell you that we 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 invite you to uh, to meet us to discuss to discuss further at this late uh, events by by October. Uh, so you can uh, um, register to to, to this event uh, online. Thank you. Thank you.